All right, restarting the intro for the YouTube video. This is Insurrection Plus from Slow Rider X Core and some other folks. Um, we're playing Mantis prototype reconstruction of the first ship ever known to have equipped stealth technology. The Mantis must take full advantage of this tech in order to defeat their foes quickly and safely. A really cool looking Mantis ship. Uh, we have chairs gonna board. We have Pixel Man is gonna board. Uh, and Frank the Mantis. All right, so we're gonna just jump right in here. I'm not gonna have uh, extended pursuit indicator again, probably, which is gonna throw me off again. Um, all right, let's just jump right in. We're playing on hard difficulty. Should be a strong boarding ship with level two cloaking and teleporter. Um, yeah, it looks really good. The visuals are really nice. Uh, Slow Rider and other folks working on this mod always do really good visual stuff. Okay. Uh, it is a murder ship, true. Oh, we are shieldless. I didn't even realize we weren't shieldless before. That's pretty scary. We have Clone Bay or Heal Bay? We have Heal Bay. Okay. I gotta remember, I am allowed to pause. I am pausing is allowed. Thank you for, oh, quality of life. Um, instant heals when you're not in combat. All right, so we need to save up 125 scrap minus 40 for shields. The 85 scrap, I think. Do Mantis Pheromones still sell for 40? Does it tell me? Oh my God, they only sell for 22. Made these. You made these sell for less? So I need 103 scrap before I can go to store for shields. Why did you nerf the cost of that? <laughs> Jeez. The hourglass something under overpowered. Uh, it's called... Uh, what is it called? Time manipulator, temporal manipulator. Um, I don't know that I would call it overpowered, no. percent hit gotta love it okay oh my gosh okay um uh, we might be shieldless but we are cloaked no shields for a boarding ship seems like an interesting challenge yeah uh temporal drive it's called temporal manipulator i believe so if i release everything everyone we get more scrap but i'm gonna get a rock so we can have four man boarding we could have four man mantis boarding immediately which would be nice too but um, having a rock for some blue options that we might not otherwise have is going to be useful. Yeah, Temporal Manipulator speeds up or slows down time in a room. That is what it does, correct. Um, uh, there are some interesting synergies with boarding and hacking. But... Uh, I, I don't, I, I haven't used it enough to get good enough to think that it's better than hacking or cloaking. So, uh, I don't have hacking yet. I'm going to take that deal anyway, because we are going to get hacking and one other system. Shields, obviously. I still owe you a mantis. Oh, crap. Well, oh, well, <laughs> it'll have to be on a viewership day. Uh, a non-viewership day. Okay, we should kill him before anything happens if I cloak now, right? Got a rock with a lot of health, so... Yeah, I think we'll kill him before he gets to shoot. Beautiful. pre cloak boarding strats. There you go. Alright, store. I want as much scrap as possible for this. I think I get five here. One, two, three, four, five. 
Uh, this is interesting. So I don't have my extended pursuit indicator. And this is a new version of this that I've never seen. So this is normal jump, nebula, and a non-nebula sector jump. Nebula and a nebula sector jump. And non-nebula jump. Interesting. I've not seen that before. That's pretty cool. Are doors thicker in this mod? I think they are, which is I'm pretty sure an attempt to um, make it so you don't actually click on crew when you're trying to click on doors, which I do like that. A lot of quality of life from vanilla FTL features in this mod, I think. And we insta-heal when we turn heal day on, which is pretty cool. That's new since I played Insurrection Plus. Two, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna try to give myself the best chance, two, three, four, five, of getting enough scrap for shields from the store, and I'm gonna take one extra jump that I'm not sure if it's gonna be a dive or not. All right, I, I probably keep cloaking, which means we're never actually gonna get any dodge training, but that's okay. We're not gonna try to get dodge training until training we get shields. Does the insta heal work if you're out of combat, but there's a breach or a fire? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Slow Rider has said your ship has to be in a safe state, which means no fires, and your O2 has to be over a certain percentage, I think. Yeah. It will disable itself if certain conditions are not met. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, damn it. Double heavy laser hacking. Auto scout for my boarding. Okay, uh, you go there, you go there, you go there, you go there. I can't board this. Okay. I'm gonna take eight shots if we dodge. If he dodges zero. Okay. Do we have stealth weapons, or did I just get? Did I just time that perfectly? What the hell is that? I have no idea what that symbol is. I don't think I've ever seen that yellow symbol before. That's corrosion. Okay, so that's a new... I have to check my ship comm. I think I saw corrosion description before. But I never actually... I got, got hit by it, I don't think. Costing me eight missiles, but I guess I should be glad it didn't cost me nine, because he never dodged anything. Alright, we got a double reward at least for that. Did we get any missiles back? I don't think so. Um... Status effects, shocked, erosion. Systems afflicted with corrosion will take the equivalent of triple sabotage damage for the duration of the effect. If it disables a system, will inflict one point of hull damage like a fire. This corrosion cannot be countered by crew members if the system is still intact. At least one point of damage must be present before its effect can be mitigated. Maximum damage that can be inflicted by the corrosion is represented by the small red line underneath the system bars. This line will shrink when repairs are made to this sh stricken system. Possible to prevent corrosion from getting out of control with enough repair strength in the stricken room. Three times repair speed is enough to completely freeze corrosion damage in place. Not quite sure how that works in practice. Look, the system with triple sabotage damage. So five seconds of it will deal 1.25 damage. So is it a damage over time effect or does somebody have to be sabotaging the system that's corroded for it to work? 
Because I'm reading that as it's a debuff that somebody has to be attacking the room with. Or is it actually... It's a damage over time. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So it's like the room being on fire, but instead of a fire you're put out, you... How does that differ from fire? Okay, that's good. Can we... Oh, it's right next door. Nice. How does that differ from fire? In effect. I'm trying to... I'm trying to visualize in my mind how that... In practice is different from fire. It's different in that it does a set amount of damage and then puts itself out. Okay. Auto laser. That's the one that's like a... Two power... Vulcan that never quite spins up quite as fast kind of thing. And I guess it doesn't spread. But we have a Vulcan at home. Mm -hmm. All right. No shield. Uh, okay, shield is okay. I was going to say that would have sucked. All right. Um, this increases combat damage as well. I don't really want to sell the pheromones. Uh, making your borders do more combat damage is, like, really freaking good. Um, okay, I think that's all I can afford. We'll go for second shield before we do anything else. I think that's what I want to do. Second shield is normal 50 scrap. Okay, no crazy changes in cost there. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Okay. Sell one automatic laser, get one for just one penny. Man, we could have had double auto, auto laser to have one normal Vulcan if I had not sold that other auto laser. That's random and pretty awesome, actually. What's your specialty? Uh, did they offer me something or did I not see it? I don't know, that was weird. You'll use this auto laser and you'll like it. <laughs> no, I'm selling it. Give it back. <laughs> I misclicked. What did I misclick? I don't know what I misclicked, so my bad. Does the crystal lockdown meter on the Mantis increase their combat damage? Uh, I think every crew has a has an ability in this mod. And actually, yeah, they might... I think they all do more hold, uh, crew damage faster if I turn that on it. I'll have to look at that again. I'm assuming I never get a safe state when I'm at a... When I'm at a whatever this is called, a hazard. Not the rock, they stop fighting, cannot take damage during theirs. Okay, let's let's read through the the crew the skills because I forget. Mantis, uh, passive 1.25 combat damage. So I think mantis have been nerfed in combat damage in this mod, but buffed in their repaired by a bit. And if you use their ability, their combat damage is better and their speed is better. Rocks. When you activate them, they become damage immune and can't repair or attack. So that's what those do. Alright, so I can get second shield or I can go to the store. Let's get second shield and skip the store.
The stores in this mod have a lot more options with that extra page on every single store uh, thing. So this is training if I could get it, but there's no training I can get, is there? Let's check what we're boarding into. No anti-personnel drones is good. So I should be turning on their haste every time, it's just, just good. just makes their fighting better. All around better, I think. Buffs repair speed to 3.0. Conveniently not... Wait. Uh, oh, the NG. The NG special ability is repair speed 3.0, which is exactly enough to counter the corrosion. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. All right, what's my next goal? Buy hacking. Buy hacking or a weapon upgrade. So let's try to save up for that. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. What I want to do is I want to board as my Leto is charged. Good. So it's F2, F3, F4, P to turn on those. Holy free pre-igniter! What the what? Holy shnikes! Well, there you go. Okay, free pre-igniter on my boarding ship. GG, go next. Okay. <laughs> pre-igniter been changing this mod, or is it the same? Okay, yeah, it's the same. Uh, that's insane. Instruction plus pre-igniter do does not work with char- Does work with charge weapons. Oh, really? Reactor for two fuel and a drone part. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, really? You don't say. Sixty to upgrade our weapons, which is even more than vanilla for a weak weapon start. This is save the NG, save yourselves. Yeah. Should be good to go one, two, three, four, five. It's close. It is close. Would I sell a pre-igniter for hacking or something? Oh wait, hacking is way more expensive in this mod. Um, you know what, maybe I don't want to go hacking. Hacking is way more expensive and super nerfed in this mod. I might want to go mind control instead. Pre-ignite Vulcan at home once it's powered, if you power it. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to get used to this. I I kind of miscounted my jumps because it looks like this is going to overtake, but I'm not used to this jump mechanic and my uh, accent pursuit indicator not working. Drone control is an option I often go to go with as well because of hacking's ginormous nerf in this mod. Um, but for boarding... And maybe we maybe we even consider the speed up time. Uh, weapons charge when the enemy is cloaked. That's interesting. Oh, advanced FTL navigation. Jump to any previously visited and gives me long range scanners at, from the first jump. That is maybe the best augment in this mod. All right, I think I have to buy that. Um, I honestly don't know if I want to keep pre-igniter as a boarding ship. Yeah, artillery's in the store, and every ship in the game has a unique artillery, Sunsea, or 
ship type has unique artillery. It's pretty insane. I don't like having my augments all filled up. But if I get a pre-ignited breach bomb or something, that's really good. I want to be able to afford the emergency power. Okay, selling all laser again. <laughs> I hope I get another free one. Um, do I get... Uh, maybe I should have gone for clone bay for my teleporter. Oh, well, let's just go with this. The boat's artillery... This boat's artillery is dangerous to use alongside boarding. To be honest, you're not sure what else you could even make for the Mantis, huh? Um... Well, let's let's check out what it is. The guy just artillery is a siege teleporter bomb. Artillery data entry, explosive artillery weapon. Three explosives. Two points of damage to systems and crew. Doesn't require missiles to fire. Ignores evasion. Okay. So basically, it could kill your own crew, so I am not going to be investing into that, most likely. Asteroid and solar flare. Three stores in the civilian sector are escort quest. Okay. Well, that description you had to watch through all of Casual Adventures to find out, find what episode had the lore on the Gyges. Oh, they, this is based off of, um... Is based off of that? That's crazy. Okay. Why am I waiting for the Lido to be... I don't know what I'm doing here. As soon as they leave, I'm going to turn on the speedy thing, because I want to kill quickly and get their drone offline so I can missile their heal bay. Jeez, how much drone power do you have? My god. Very good. Turns out auto laser automatically gets sold. Such a good weapon. Well, well we're a boarding ship. I'm not knocking the auto laser. I'm a boarding ship that I don't want to. I don't have the scrap to invest in weapons, I feel like. Because this mod nerfs ships that start with level 1 weapons harder than vanilla does. Because in vanilla, it's 40 to get your second weapon power. In this mod, it's 60. So You are even more decentivized, disincentivized to spend scrap on weapons. Is there anything I can sell to get my control of this there or not? Not really, unless I want to sell an element. Vanilla pre-AE used to have level 2 weapons at 60. Okay. Open fire. Okay. But then they added hard mode, which is what we're playing on, so... That's kind of the other side of that reasoning, I would say. Um... I think I have enough of my control. It also had shields for being 150 in the store. Okay. There's temporal drive. Time in a room on a ship can be hastened or slowed and passively boosts movement combat repairs on board your ship by 10% per powered level. Oh, that passive is new. I didn't know about that passive. But I still would rather have mind control. Oh, another pre igniter there. I might have to consider a defense drone uh, thing, if that's an option. But again, pre-AE, you were making more scrap. Whatever the percentage more scrap you got in normal over hard mode, so... Wow, I just don't want me to get mind control, apparently. I could get a better pre-ignited missile than this Lido we have. This does two damage. 
two power, two shots that do two damage each. This would be better against some things. I would need to spend the 60 to get it online. Do I have another store coming up? I do. Six, seven, even not going through the nebula, I think I get seven. So I think I'm going to go one, two, hopefully go three, and then four. Um, I'd rather have a bomb than a, a missile if, I, if possible. So I'm going to not invest in that, and I'm going to save for this other store. Let's do that. I think that's not a dive. I think that's not a dive. Okay. I'm still kind of trying to keep an eye on... <sighs> training ship fights. Nice. Engine train. Human? That's actually huge. That's actually huge. That buffs up our dodge right there. Okay, so this does not this is not being taken over. Good. Okay. I gotta kill it takes ten missiles to kill this guy. Unless I can get Rock over there and do some damage without dying, that's super sketchy though. Okay, that's really good. I guess we could say this is potentially some training. Alright, level one engines on this guy, and the Lido's got some anti anti evasion on it, so. Really weird that this guy's got a backup battery. Get a little training while we use up a bunch of missiles to kill this guy. Into the hole breach, that's right. Nice subset reference. Alright, we got a little dodge training. Gotta love it. Do not love how many missiles is it gonna cost to kill this guy, but. At least we can kill him. At least we can. Did we breach his engines? I think we did. If I breached his weapons, I could just train. No. No breaching. Oh well. I tried. Do I play zombie games or are they scary? <laughs> yes to both. Um... Man, if I had Clone Bay, that would be perfect. Um, I haven't played a zombie game in a while, but like Seven Days to Die, um, Left for Dead. Uh, what other zombie games are there? I played Phasmophobia, which is more ghost than zombie, but I occasionally like scary games. Not super often, but occasionally. I've never played State of Decay. I'm not familiar with that one. Phasma is really fun, it is. I played a lot of Phasmophobia with my brother and my friend Tim and my nieces. Shogis play a little bit with us. There's the mind control. There's a Hermes missile. Home bay. Alright, um, let's get the mind control. With Mont, almost any game could be a zombie game. True, true. I have not played Project Zomboid. It's on my list to check out at some point, though. When making an FTL jump, there's an 80% chance for one missile to be added to your reserves. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'd like a way to be able to kill auto scouts, and that probably means I just gotta do clone bay. Yeah. Even though, especially, I just didn't keep the backup DNA bank, but I gotta be able to kill auto scouts by boarding them, so I gotta do this. I 
kind of want to sell the pheromones. Or the pre-igniter. Because I've already had to delete two augments, or one or two augments I've had to leave behind. We're pretty safe on boarding auto scouts now that we have clone bay and level two cloaking, so I'm gonna sell the pre-igniter. I know. Why would you sell the pre-igniter? So good. Blah 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 blah. It's just, just other stuff I need. Other stuff I need. Um, SOD two is quite fun. State of Decay 2, huh? Not familiar with that. Astroneer can count. Those dagger roots seem close enough to zombies, huh? <laughs> Alright, so this is safe with Clone Bay. Kill his offense. be a really long fight though. A really long fight. The only level one clone beta. Get our guys back up slowly. Time to lose all of our training over and over. Okay, let's get his weapons offline. Have there been zombies in FTL mod? Uh, probably. I remember the first FTL tournament, we talked to some interesting mod, uh, people who have created other interesting FTL mods. One was a Christmas mod. There's probably a, I think there was like one that was like a Cthulhu mod or something. There have been a lot of Pretty crazy mods through the years in FTL. Okay, we're gonna speed up time here. I gotta be very careful with doing this. There. Good. Kill that eventually, then help there. Okay, we're going piloting. Damn. Uh, ran to pre-igniter. I don't want to play with you anymore. Could not think about Tony's story. Oh, Toy Story. <laughs> I thought that said Tony story. That said Tony Stark for a little bit. When did Tony Stark say that? When did Iron Man say that? I don't remember that. Um, okay. True. <laughs> I just pulled an Andy from Toy Story on the pre-igniter. I don't want to play with you anymore. I'm a, I'm a real boy. I'm too grown for you. This is not the way I want to kill auto scouts, but it's the best way I have to kill auto scouts that doesn't use up all my consumables. So... Too bad there's no internal augment to make um, um, them take less damage in whatever these are called, uh, vented rooms or whatever. There probably is an augment. I don't know. Oh, nice. I don't know if there's any. Oh, nice reward. Oh, cool. Instant cloning after the fight also happens. Um, I don't know if there's any way to internalize augments in this mod. Tony Story coming soon to Disney Plus. That's right. Do 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 do
do do do do do do do do I wonder what the movie would be about. Tony Story. Living pasta noodles at a pasta restaurant. <laughs> Tony Story is just an Italian guy. Right? Manly search because we got Clone Bay. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's check if there's any other breaches. I think it can only be one. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, you can't do any internalized augment stuff here, no. Okay. That looks like even if I did go there, that'd still be a dive, so... We're not gonna take a chance on a dive. Kinda need my missiles. Alright, I think I, I also kinda wanna do my weapon upgrade now. Rebel or pirate? Uh, Zultan pirates would suck. We do have heavy laser to get through, though. Zultan shield bypass is something we want as this boarding ship. Yeah, let's go see if we can get more crew. And it's, I assume it's normal crew numbers. Yeah, we can't get extra boarding crew on a boarding ship, sadly. <laughs> Hey, I'm Tony Story! <laughs> that was, that's what it would be. This guy with a stupid Italian accent. Not stupid, but like bad Italian accent going, Hey, I like to play with toys! I'm a Tony Story! Wait, why does he play with toys? Confused. Shoot weapons for no reason. Beautiful. Okay. Um. All right. This is going to turn into a having to refresh a lot run, which is going to be really annoying. But at least they instantly clone. What doesn't happen is I can't instantly vent them. I don't think. Tony Bob, you like to play with Tony. I'm a Tony Story. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so reconstructive could be interesting. Uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass is kind of the main augment we're looking for for our boarding support. Uh, I don't know if I can play this like a truly vanilla... ...boarding run. I really need to cloak this bomb. Okay. It'll last longer, so do this. Okay. Oh, they got it down. So, there's this interesting thing where when crew are in their death animation, they're actually still doing system damage, and we just saw that in ac action. That bomb went down right at the end of the death animation there, which is pretty awesome. Really good for us, because it's also safety for you know, them ion bombing my clone bay when I had all of my boarding crew in there. And I don't have backup DNA bank. In fact, threw away the one I got because I was maxed on augments. Rock corpse is no joke, that's right. Yes, no repeating last run of losing all my crew this run. God, I hope not. I hope we don't repeat that. Nice, get there just in time. Should be able to finish that by himself, hopefully. Nice, and then finish that. Okay. 
That was a 5% chance of going catastrophically wrong, huh? Not really, because we still had potentially two Lido missile shots to get his, his bomb offline. Well, depending on the charge time of Ion Bomb in your mod, it's anywhere close to the charge time of vanilla. We had time. I was preparing to shoot their missiles. So we had counterplay, but you're right, it was not super, super safe. But boarding on auto scouts is always a freaking pain when you're a boarding ship with no lanius, basically. Should we send them to shield so we can lose, use our laser? Um, yeah, maybe, but I'm just trying to keep the fight safe. This is the slow, boring way to do it, but this is also the we never take damage way of doing it. And never chance them repairing their bomb to killing our clone bay mid, mid clone. So I'm gonna keep doing it this way even if it's boring. Sorry. FTL is boring when you do it right you, a lot of times. But you're right, there might be a way to do this. The problem is the four shields mean it takes forever and his stuff gets repaired in the meantime, so that's why I'm not doing that. See, see how fast his other stuff gets repaired? Human time. Sure thing, Grimo. I'll get you in a second. This right here is the scariest time because they are repairing without me breaking anything and could get the ion bomb back online, but this is going to finish it right here. Uh, poor guys losing all their training. Although their training's not too bad, actually. Alright. Grima. Oh, did we... We did get a training opportunity. Nice. Okay. Is Crystal Homeworlds different in this mod? I assume so, but I don't know for sure. Nebula that is looking empty... But I do get a store. I'm just going to go for the ship fights, I think. Although, another chance at long range scanners is not bad. Not long range scanners. Uh, result in shield bypass. The way to get into Crystal Sector is changed up, Slow Rider says. My O2. Okay, kill your friends. Uh, Leventhal, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Beautiful. Whoops, I did not mean to vent you, human. Sorry about that. Um... Meow, willing to serve mothership. Okay, uh, do I have any crew available? I think the rock is available. Oh, and thank you for the prime sub, Leventhal. Are you joining from YouTube? Usually if I see somebody join and then immediately sub, I assume. That's <laughs> somebody joining from YouTube. Uh, before you, C4, you just got to this game recently and found a run of yours on, on mine on YouTube. Funny enough, here I am on Twitch. Great content helping you learn the game. Awesome. Well, welcome to the trolley world of FTL. Get ready to curse a lot, if you're anything like me. 50% uh, chance of a ship to spawn in Rock Home Worlds that will let you skip the first two steps if you do it right. After you successfully get in once on return visits to the wormhole, you can pay 60 scrap to fix the gate and jump in with no crystal. So that's how Crystal Home Worlds has changed in this mod. Interesting. Lemonthal, you also found us on the YouTube? Had to check out the stream. Awesome. Glad to have you. Glad, glad, glad to have all of you joining us from the YouTubes. What is this? Annelid? Most of their existence they've spent fighting amongst themselves. 1.5 combat damage. They actually do more Mantis damage. They're slower than Mantis. They do faster sabotage damage. It explodes on death. Does system damage. 
and damage to friendly crew on death. Active ability, double all damage taken and dealt for eight seconds. Oh my god. I've never seen this in this mod before. Um, I don't know if I want to spend scrap on crew on a boarding ship when I'm too away from maxed out. You have died so many times your crew has suffered unimaginable pain. <laughs> sounds like sounds about right for FTL. Hmm. Also an ion bomb. Salvaged one, so it's worse. Do it for the memes. How much is this crew? It's only 50. It's not that expensive. I actually got weapon training. I almost want to grab him and put him on weapons, but... Alright, he's new. Something new and shiny. There's no other training on any of my guys, so... Lowest, wep uh, lowest fighting training is you. You go beyond weapons. <laughs> what is this... Annelid referring to? Is this like an Earthworm Jim reference or what? I have no idea what this is referencing. Right, I'm going to finally do my weapon upgrade so I can go Lido plus Heavy Laser. If needed. That is a solar flare. Got to be careful around them, because if they die on one of your ship systems, they will damage your systems. Okay, okay. That is a giant scary missile right there. Um, oh my god. Alright, I'm going to go here. Since he's not taking damage there, if he uses his special ability there, it's good. Okay, kill him before that giant missile that's going to do a crap ton of damage goes off. Good. Problem is I can't refresh the solar flare. I have no idea what's going on with that sound and everything, so... Crazy. Crazy. Uh, let's see, how many gems do we add to the store? Guess. Two, three, four, five... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for that. I thought of Earthworm Jim before seeing the ship, which has an analyt literally called Jim. Okay, so it is an Earthworm Jim reference. Okay. Giant, scary, gold-plated missile, no less. Yeah. Worm is a gangsta. That's what that sound is. Okay. Okay. All right, so he when he dies, he's going to explode in this room. Um... So what I'm going to do is I want him to explode in weapons. Did he do it? Did he explode for extra damage? Not sure. And maybe I'll actually try to take shields down this time since this guy's weapons are just, they're just weaker. We can actually get shield training here if I care about that. Do I care about shield training? I know I have nobody on shields, so probably not. Let's kill the cloaking. All right, so if we kill the shields, we can do what um, somebody was suggesting earlier. We actually use our heavy laser to kill this guy. There we go. 
Uh, heavy laser piloting. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, both those weapons are back online somehow. Okay, this gets dodged, which you can't get, do get dodged, this is fine. Good. Merrily humbling while this crew suffocates to death. Sounds like Rand. I mean, you gotta find your joy somewhere, right? Especially while playing this freaking game. Oh my gosh, he could have I actually ioned my clone bay there. Was that a was that a phasing ion that goes through one shield? Holy crap, that was scarier than that actually was. It's actually a Worms reference, and the other ship that has annelids all have names from Worms. Oh, like Worms are Armageddon. Okay, okay, that's... Now I understand, okay. Gotcha, that's the reference, gotcha. All right, so we're trying to save up to have the ability to purchase Zultan Shield Bypass. Um, let me get a clone bay value point. Probably want a teleporter upgrade too. Okay, this one does not pierce, so this should be fine. Now that the fight's safe, now we will board into the shield room. Finish him off with a heavy laser. Don't you just love when you fight nothing but frickin' auto scouts and you're a boarding ship with no Lanius? It's my favorite. And by favorite, I mean I hate it. And by I hate it, I mean it's so much fun. And by so much fun, I mean... Okay, I'll stop this stupid meme now. Uh, we wanna work on weapons. Is that a one power weapon? No, it's a two power weapon. It's weird that it was back online as quickly as it was. <laughs> okay, now I think I understand that sound too. Because it sounds like... Um... I think it's sounding like some of the weapons from Worms. Yeah, the shotgun from Worms, okay. Yeah, that, that does sound vaguely familiar. I haven't played a ton of Worms, but I did play some on stream with viewers at one point. Okay. All of the auto scouts and all of the crap scrap rewards. Okay. Uh, one, two. No, that's not safe. Okay, I'm not getting quite the number of jumps I was thinking I would, but I should still get the store. Uh, can you purchase translation device in advanced sector? Yes, and you get a silly achievement for doing so. Nice. If I can get him to not be fighting somebody, I can use his ability, and it's strong. Because he does double damage while taking double damage. If he doesn't take any damage, then it's good. Very nice. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't get full jumps, do I? So I have to dive if I do that. I think... Actually, no, I think I can. I think I can do that. Famous last words. Uh, the achievement is so silly. The achievement unlocked text in the pop-up is in French. Okay. Free stuff. Should be good. Should be safe. 
Alright, Dome Shield Bypass or Weapons? Okay. Redundant Systems. Avoid taking system damage when attacked. Increased repair speed, interesting. Okay, I already have something that's scouting the sector. Um, Here's the chance of fire breaches and stuns. Interesting, no effect on bombs or intruder drones though. Okay. An elite defense drone, huh? Okay. Um, two power for three damage for this whole missile. I kind of don't want to get any other missiles unless it's an OP bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, let's buy this crappy burst laser. Very basic. So I can go like this without having to use a missile if I don't want to. At least our consumables are looking good. Okay. Schwag missiles or something. Uh, sure, have some fuel. Reactor? Sure. Alright. Four fuel for reactor upgrades? Not terrible a deal. A little expensive, but... What's your specialty? Doors for 13. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, I think. Sensors are only 15 and... Okay, those are normal. I think we got a decent deal there. Slug. Boarding slugs, huh? Okay. At least we got the mind control counter. Okay, two stores. Hmm. That is a frickin' big missile right there. Okay, you're not finding anybody? Damn it, you are. Okay, well then, let's use their ability. Then we'll swap and use yours. Beautiful. Nice double reward, nice. Um, is Clombe buffed at all for the heal between jumps? No, it looks like it's the normal. Normal 8, 16, and what, 24? 8, 16, and 25. Oh, you've incentivized maxing out Clombe. Now that's interesting. Maybe I do just want to invest in that. Although I'd like to have 100% dodge while cloaked, so I think I need to go for this next. Yeah. Teleport upgrade would also be nice. That's hard coded. Oh, the clone bay heal is hard coded. Okay, didn't know that. As long as the other sector type, they can have analids, though, how, with how everything is set up, you imagine it's extremely difficult to actually see an enemy using them, though. Okay. Oh my gosh, they have four crew on this ship. That's new. That is definitely different. No longer a, um... What is it called? Oh, and nobody in... Oh, the rooms are all connected. <laughs> ah, okay, so coffin ship no longer exists. No longer a coffin ship. All right, we need to re reset here. You fixed... The coffin ship. Is this multiverse? No. This is Slowrider's complete rework mod called Insurrection Plus. You changed enemy pirates so that they call their crew from a blueprint list rather than the current sector's loot pool. Okay. Okay. Because this ship was from Multiverse LOL. Uh, okay. I don't know if Slowrider used that model or if they use Slowrider's model. Because Slowrider is pretty active in the community. 
You manually reshaded it. You had to make a type B and C of it. Okay, so I guess this is an original multiverse. Well, I guess if anybody knows the actual artist who created this, let me know. I'll credit them in the in the uh, YouTube video. I do like to credit whoever is the artist for these things. B and C have appearances that are not multiverse. Okay. Uh, they boarded in my doors. Kill your friends. Kill you as quickly as possible by doing that. you two guys uh what does heavy laser one plus do um it's a thermal heavy laser so it has a higher fire chance <laughs> so this mod has a lot of might be similar to multiverse but i played the original version of this mod way back when that did this i think before multiverse did this where every weapon had different variants whereas like fire variant breach variant all that and so that's what that is if it's red it's a fire variant if it's black it's a breach variant and stuff like that be a very good dive sector potentially that's cool yeah it's a nice it's a nice bit of variety it adds to weapon types okay so if I board, are they going to speed up time in that room that I board in? They are. Oh my god. I think this hurts them more than it helps them. Helps me end the fight faster. For whoever wanted to know what Temporal Manipulator did earlier, that's what it does. It speeds up time in a room. It's crazy. And it's crazy. And it used to, when they first added it, um, what's his name? Swift Tiger, I think. Uh, one of the main hyperspace devs, I think, designed it. When he first added it, there was a really crazy interaction with boarding in that you could lock a room down and insta-kill people. Or is a crazy interaction with ranged attacks happening quicker or something. Six moons. All right, Slug Pilot. Freeze up my NG to go around repairing stuff? Sure. I'll save you on shields. But I'll have you OMD as needed. Is that a special NG? No. No, no special NG. This is an this is a worm crew, which is first time I've had one of these in this mod. Apparently it's a reference to the the worms games. Uh, Temporal and a Slug. This guy should have higher combat damage, but also forgot to mention another thing. Slug ships now have a passive that halves the speed of non-slug intruders. However, with how we're boarding right now, we're not really needed to move around all that much. Oh, interesting. They slow down boarding. Yeah. Which is kind of negated by our Mantis Pheromones, I hope. Another, another Annelid there. Not going to buy another. We're maxed on crew. Okay, um... First heavy lance beam is an okay build. Once we're done boarding. Yes, an orange worm. <laughs> um, Worm needs to be named bird snack. Well, you paid the cookies. Okay. Bird snack. Mm, there you go. Um, extended fire beam. I watch FTL approves of that weapon. Heavy Pierce is in the Renegade collection. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, let me just start the fight. All right, let's do. I don't want to do this. 
Use your special ability. Use your special ability. Swamp that. Mind control one so that you're never fighting with your taking double damage thing. refresh you all. You're all really low. Um, it's originally a capsule edition weapon and it became a part of base multiverse. Okay. That worm is loud. Yeah, when he's doing his special ability, he's... I'm pretty sure it's the audio sound from the words worm's game for the shotgun is what Slow Rider said. Shotgun noises, yes. Two, three, four. Yeah, we should be able to get all these jumps. Um, we have a store coming up. Let's greed, and then if we don't get anything good in the store, I'll probably get their shield or a weapon upgrade. Okay. Big bad mantis boy that we get to fight. So, he has a heal bay. Which I need to kill. Um... Ward and his weapons. Mind control the mantis. Okay. Damn, it's level two heal bay. All right, well, we should hopefully be able to get some weapons offline here. Um, I don't think I'll be able to fight that in time. I don't want to use all my drone parts, so. Let's just buy ourselves some time here right now. Let's cloak level two. We'll mind control them the next time they go in there. Oh my god, the big giant missile's up and I cloaked something else. I don't have cloaking hacking cycle. Fuck. That should make the fight safe now. Ouch. Three damage missile. It's all right. We're not taking a lot of damage this run, so... It's fine. It's repair training or something. Sounds like a flak hitting the hole. <laughs> sure. It is very loud, though. You're right. Okay. Uh, refresh these guys. Although we had a store, I probably didn't need to do this. Oh well. A super long time to refresh them. <laughs> the death animation for the worms guy just realized is really weird. He like explodes and then leaves behind a smear. That must be the death animation in uh, the worms games. It's, it's goofy. Black. Reconstructive. Which is cheaper in this mod. Interesting. Okay. Um. I don't find Zoltan Shield Bypass. Man, I like this. I'm not sure that it's worth. Ah, let's buy it. I want it. And what does it cost to get a flak? 70, so flaks are slightly. Increased in price in this mod. And slightly slowed down, and I think slightly reduced in accuracy. I remember all the nerfs to black in this mod. I want to sell Lido. Oh, I didn't even look at this smoke bomb. What is this? Blocks crew from taking action, deals no damage. Weird. Okay. Very weird. It's a gravestone. Oh, yeah. Worms have graves gravestones in that, in that game. That's right. right. 35 scrap to get the Lido online with these weapons. Okay. 
How good is Lido? Uh, it's slightly better than vanilla because it has anti dodge on it. No, oh, okay. Mines. These are the very slow moving guys. Chimera missile is definitely better. This is basically vanilla Artemis that you can swap to a different version. It's kind of expensive and I'd have to sell what I have, so I don't really want to spend scrap on it. Pre-igniter, another pre-igniter. Crazy that I've sold a pre-igniter and seen two at stores. Can you lay the mines? When you fire them, they're like very slow-moving missiles. This if they still work the way they did back in the day. I was afraid that would happen. Alright, it's fine. Um, crap. Okay. Well, I apparently tricked them into four-man boarding me, which is kind of crappy, because uh, I couldn't not let them board when their only four-person one room was the teleporter. Unless I didn't want to, unless I wanted to split up my boarding crew, which I did not want to do. Really weird ship layout there. Uh, you re-sprited the mine weapons in the latest update. They're no longer just boxes, but by accident they now kind of look like giant space helmets. Interesting. Is that a slaver ship? It's a pirate rebel drop ship, so maybe? Um, so we are diving in this nebula dive. I hope nebula dives aren't more punishing in this mod than vanilla. Because that's why I chose to do this dive. To get the extra store and to not be punished in a nebula dive. Ah, yes, the trade mechanics. This is the first time we've even gotten to interact with this yet today. Solar panels, industrial lifters. 35 to 70, 15 to 40. So if we got, I feel like these would be good at a rock sector since there are a lot of solar flares at rock sectors. So, this mod has a trading mechanic, and it doesn't tell you where things sell for a better prices, so I'd have to guess for industrial lifters. I'm going to get the cheap one. If we get a rock sector, I feel like we're likely to get a good deal on that. Uh, that's the Fed Seas color screen, which Multiverse uses for the Tikaka Pirate Faction, which are the dedicated slavers. I hate lasagna. Thank you for the prime sub. Sorry to hear about your hatred of lasagna, but glad to have you in the stream. Okay. Thankfully, they don't have clone bay. Mono cloak. They're bomb. Bomb did not go offline, sadly. Can't mind control them. No. I'm gonna get the bomb offline before I board. If they bomb my clone bay while I'm boarding, I'll be very sad. We do have reconstructed, so we'll be full health. That's good. There's fire in that room. Good. Let's go in the shield room, actually. I should pull them. Um, this is Worrying Radiation, clone bay thing. Which, apparently, level 2 protects you from in this mod. Cool. Just realized. I assume that was Worrying Radiation with the free hack on clone bay. Um, that was a smoke bomb that they used. Oh, this is a smoke bomb, huh? If that hit my clone bay, would that make it stop working? Maybe if the lasagna was made lactose-free, it would be different. <laughs> Maybe so. 
All right, time to deal with dive ship that hopefully doesn't have an ASB or some other craziness. No, it's pretty safe. Okay, so. Um, board here. Mind control the dude. These are rebel elites. Okay. Okay. Good cloak timing. I should cloak level two there. Now we double your damage speed there. Oh, we set a fire in there. That's good. Deleted those guys. If you can kill Clone Bay, that would be great. Beautiful. All right. Clean dive. Clean dive. Very nice. Rebel Stronghold. Okay. Under construction flagship. I can't remember how that works in this mod, to be honest. I think warring radiation can be countered by level 2 medbay and not level 2 clone bay and vanilla. That is correct, Kieran. That is correct. But let's go for it. Um, smoke bomb messes with crew's ability to do anything and inflicts a damage over time to them. Yeah. Is it the same rules, slow rider, for the under construction flagship that it's an empty jump? Or are you not going to tell me and I have to discover for myself? I, I want to assume it's the same. A, S, B. Same rules. Okay. Yeah, I don't have hacking. So getting getting their heal bay down and crew killing them is going to be very difficult. But I do have mind control with my boarding. Uh, listen to the briefing. Federation base. Accept the mission. Okay. I think that's different than under construction flagship, I think. Looking for look around. Okay. Cool. Um, that means I gotta vent my human if I want an extra repair NG. Mm, humans are less bad in this mod because you can use their stim shot to do stuff. You know, I, th I feel like I need my training. I don't think I can lose training on any of my crew right now. So human gets to live for now. Okay. I hope he doesn't have a an anti-personnel drone, which I'm guessing he has. He does not. He has this guy. Is that guy fighting? That guy's not fighting. Okay. No heal bay is nice, though. <laughs> that shotgun sound is so goofy. <laughs> Um, uh, no venting for Grima, not yet. Maybe later. Maybe when I get, I don't know, what other, I'm missing a Zoltan, I don't know. Federation scum, rude. That weapon system, though, okay. Um, Good work on these weapons. That's the weapon we went offline. That's the one that does like four shots. Okay, we're good now. Okay. 
Okay, finish him. You guys go there. That was weird. The manager was standing right on the analyst's tile, but the analyst wasn't using his melee animation. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. I, You know, I'm your number one tester. Well, maybe not number one, but number one streamer slash tester. So there you go. There's data. Okay, I feel like... I feel like I want one more weapon power for this fight. So I can have Leto Missile and, and the Flak plus Heavy Laser online for the boss fight. Maybe the shields would have been better, but... All right, look around. Are you here? Okay. That overtook that... Um... Interesting. That overtook the ASB fight right there. Crazy. You're being unfair. I'm being unfair. Here's a tip. Oh, they agreed upon it now. Okay. I thought he tipped me if I did that. Yeah, it overwrote the ASB, which is pretty crazy. We've been boarded. No clone bay. Okay, that's good. Um, guy you guys could die that would be great thank you that was a pretty low reward for sector are we five or six six 28 scrap seems low all right oh uh, goofy gangster sound <laughs> yeah And we're not guaranteed. There's a lot of non-ship fights here. I don't know that I'm going to get this under construction unless I skip the quest to go looking like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need it to be... I might go one, two, three, four, five. Because if it's one of those, I probably at least don't dive at the exit beacon. Oh, I should have gotten this at third shield. Okay... This mind control. This, this, this. Don't mess with a gangster worm. That's what this run should be called on YouTube. Just a picture of that guy with a, you know, gangster hat and a cigar and a an Uzi. <laughs> Don't mess with the gangster worm. There's my, uh, there's my clickbait title right there. What was this quest again? I think this was the, uh... <sighs> the, un uh, not un construction, the uh, Federation base or something, so... Let me go full upgrades here, and then hopefully... Under construction flagship, there, there, or there. It's an augment. Okay, what do we got here? Commander Walker, glad you could make it. We really need a ship to make it inside. Can you assist? Make a stealth approach or beam my crew aboard the facility. Let's go with the boarding. Build. Get in range, we'll cover you. You circle near the outpost and teleport some of your crew in a navigable area of this facility to investigate. Secure the information. Oh, it's the storage key. That's what you're talking about. Can you tell me what this one gives? Can you tell me what alpha gives? Unlimited ammo? Okay. So I probably just ignore that. It's fine. 
Um, Dodges are too good. Should have gotten the weapons, not into where I chose to go. There. Alright, looks like we're taking a missile here. Okay, we're full health. Eh, just took one damage. Hopefully we don't take another missile. Okay, let's go finish it. Doors just stay open. Beautiful. All right, so that reward was definitely not worth the fight because we did not have augment space. <laughs> I feel like this is an issue with a lot of these mods where they add all these extra augments that are really good or improve augments. They've never done a thing where you could put augments in cargo so you could swap them out or sell them. It's probably hard-coded to not be able to do that, but I think if there's one thing I wish mods could do was make it that you don't throw augments in the trash when you have three of them. It's so dumb that you can't put it in the cargo. You can put weapons in the cargo. You can put drones in the cargo. Why can't you put augments in the cargo? It's never made any sense to me. What does the advanced FTL navigation do? Just like Vanilla lets me jump to every jump I've already been to in a sector, but in this mod it also shows you what's at every jump in the sector. So it's a pre- it's like a free map every sector. Maybe they're too big to fit. It's probably a hard-coded thing, which has to do with the, the sizes of them or whatever, but I hate that. I just, I hate that about vanilla FTL that you can't store your augment in the cargo bay to take to a store. I just hate that mechanic. Always hate wasted scrap and that's wasted scrap. Make it so it's like drones and multiverse we can swap configurations? No. Uh, I, I don't think that would... Swap configurations. Drones let you trade change that that's in this mod too there are weapons that let you do that too there's even a button right here for sw swapping drones and weapons that's in this mod i don't think that that's a I, I bet you if that could be done it would have been done i hate everything about ftl and love it still that's because i know how ftl works okay if this does not is not the unrestriction flagship we are diving to get out of this sector because this will delay it twice which will let me go one two and not dive i think so let's hope for that go with that i guess that's how it goes in the salt mine look around please unlucky way too many options for which ship was the uh unrestriction flagship this sector I have to cloak this. Okay, and that's annoying. Do, 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 do. Rock in the fire. Problem is the fire's still not offline. Let's do this. You take no damage while they die in a fire. God, these guys... Did you nerf fire damage or something? Because these guys are not dying in that fire. Is that a rebel elite? Okay, map that I already have, great. Uh, 
That's another phrase that will get me in trouble when I run for president. <laughs> Stop nerfing fire damage, yeah. Do you think he just went in there at full HP? Well, the heal bay was still, I think it was a level three heal bay, but it just, it felt like that took a freaking year, so, oh well. Is diving hard in this game? In in this mod, uh, well, I dove once in a nebula, so it's similar in a nebula where it's no uh, no ASB you have to worry about. But yeah, it's still hard harder ships with the dive jumps. All right, well, if this is not under construction flagship, it was literally the worst jump in the sector, and we got screwed. So. Um, let's get level 2 piloting in case something bad happens here. Um, intercept the unidentified ship. It is an O2-less guardian ship. So I didn't get to fight the auto, the under construction flagship. I fought whatever this BS is. Oh god, okay, um... Artilleries, okay. Holograms, so I can't really board these guys. I think I've fought this before. Oh my god. And they just are immune to mind control, because why not? Why shouldn't these crazy overpowered guys be more crazy and overpowered? If I board them, they are an O2 list ship, so that's why I'm avoiding doing that. Double missile, because you know why don't they have a double missile with this ridiculous overpowered ship? Oh, man. Okay, uh, if he kills my clone bay, that would be really bad. Level two. He has mercy, or, uh, NG medbot dispersal, because why the hell wouldn't he have some more cheaty crap? Okay. Okay. I hope I'm not about to lose my two boarding crew. Fucking zero dodges at 25%. Okay. okay I think we're about to win the fight, though. All right, not too bad, but it wasn't under construction flagship like I was hoping for. Lots of lasers weapon, okay. Um, they're running so that you only get one shot at fighting them. As long as the Arties are desync, we should be okay. Well, we were not getting very good dodges, but it's fine. Uh, what did we just get? Exotic burst laser, three power, four shots, 13 second charge time. Very fast shot velocity, counter evasion, and high fire chance. Looks pretty good. Um, so maybe this for now. Okay. All right, dive time. All right, level two cloak. Am I going to board or no? If they board me, I probably don't. If they don't board, I might. Shoots lasers, lots of lasers, so many lasers. Middle edition. Okay. Ro uh, Rebel Elite Sentinel. Okay, they're not boarding me, but I don't think I want to board them. I think we just cloak level 2 and run.
Nice. Not sure why I fired that when I couldn't fire the burst laser during cloak without breaking cloak early. That's fine. Safe dive is safe. So this must have been under construction flagship. I mean, maybe the upgrade we got is even better. Okay, that guy we just fought were holograms, which is pretty much what you fight in location unknown over, over and over. F that, we're going Mantis. Because I can't board... It's like having another abandoned sector, but scarier. I think a location unknown is actually scarier than abandoned. Sounds like a nice burst laser 3. Cooldown isn't ridiculously long. Was less shots than a burst laser 3, but it's way faster charge time, so... Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I'm late on the cloak here. Okay. okay, make the fight safe, and then we'll go work on killing this guy. Oh, here he comes. Come to your doom. You come willingly to your doom. Less power as well, no? Um, True. One less power, one less shot, and a lot faster charge time. So, probably what Burst Laser 3 sh should have been in vanilla. Alright, store. Advanced FTL navigation, I would probably sell in Sector 7 for a Zeltan Shield Bypass. And we have some weapons. Ah, here we go. Solar panels. It's my last sector to really do this, and it's not really a great <laughs> deal. Oh, well. Weapon charge booster, weapon pre-igniter, shield charge booster. We have an 8-power weapon system, potentially. I might want to keep this if I don't find anything else, because we can... Beeline it to the exit be or to the base in the final sector and then do some extra jumps if we do the retreat retreat strats. I mean that's like the third or fourth pre-igniter we've seen this run. Maybe I do want to go pre-igniter. Do I watch D and D related content? Not really. Unless there's a streamer I like playing I was gonna say I like Baldur's Gate 3, but even then, not really. Um, you were declared psychotic. Really? Hmm. I'd rather have weapons to pre-ignite than to pre-ignite my not strong enough, my not enough weapons. So, I think I'm gonna have to skip pre-igniter. I know, so many pre-igniters. So little scrap. We're not actually using our drone parts, so that's huge. Okay. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if Zoltan's shield bypass for phase 3 is as stupidly strong as it is in vanilla, but if there's one, I want to give myself the option for it. Zero Zoltan shield bypass opportunities with every sector having augment in their stores. Kind of crazy, but I think there's also more augments in this mod. This missile has 3 power for 6 damage in 22 seconds. It's crazy, but again... I have good weapons if I can just get them online. So. BFM. Big F and missile. Okay. Um. Cloak the bomb, we should be okay. I mean, missile. I think he takes... Does he take extra damage? Does this, Does the uh, worm take extra damage from hazards? It's said from all sources, so I assume that includes hazards. Is that correct, Slowrider? Okay, then I'm not going to do that.
Okay, can't run anymore, and his weapons are almost fully down. Can't dodge, so this would be fine. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Is this forward auto scout with the guaranteed low reward? My favorite event. That sound is traumatic. Yes, yes. It's scary every time it happens, that's for sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if I get all of those, but I want as much scrap as possible here. I would like to get one more weapon online, and I need power. Will play any viewership as long as stream appropriate. Yeah, yeah. As long as something you have created, somebody in chat, or... I will say I prefer not to play multiverse if you're, like, trying to send me multiverse ships. That's, like, my least favorite, but... Uh, enter our Sacred Mantis Sparring Grounds. Have your crew fight our champion. Let's send our analyt over. You watch his disbelief as the pink trickster jumps out of the way of a mantis claw before drawing their bat. With a single swing, the mantis is sent hurling across the arena into the wall. Knocked out in one hit. Hit. They teleport your crew member back and say, we have never seen such a warrior. Take this. <laughs> All right. Worms are the most dangerous melee opponents in the galaxy. Nice. Bonk. Cool. All right. Um, Orden weapons, mind controlling weapons. Do that. Get deleted. Beautiful. All right, we have some pretty OP boarding crew going on here. Get ganked, that's right. Get ganked. Um, Instruction Plus, it gives a proper reward. What, Ford Auto Scouts I'm talking about? Autos have low rewards, it's just stupid. Okay. For once, I agree with you on something. <laughs> Don't agree with you on some things, like hacking needing a nerf. Even though it probably does, I just love my hacking so much I don't want it to get a nerf. But yes, I agree with you there. Is that another one of those smoke bombs, maybe? Deleted. Stun bomb, I think. That is double burst laser threes. Let's, let's just get out of the way of that. Is that a 10 weapon power system? I don't know if you're if these burst laser threes are four power or not, but that looks like a ten weapon power system to me. I think you did say that they could get ten power weapons or something. Four at the most. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's skip that one down there and try to not dive here. We've been boarded. Oh no, it's the Mantis Border Police. We're using our special ability, and it doesn't feel like we're winning that hard for this guy. Did I not use your ability? No, I did. Weird. Very weird. Maybe he was 1v2 for a bit there. Do, 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 do. I get scared every time I see evasive maneuvers, because I'm pretty sure that's what the Rock Live Mine event says. Waiting for the hack. Shield hack, okay. So it freaks me time every time. Freaks me out every time I see that. Okay. Um, shield hack. Okay. Just need to reactively cloak this. That that shot's got a lot of shots. 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 Okay. Rock Mines is PTSD. It really is. Rock Live Mines has given me PTSD. Do I believe hard light might be possible in our lifetime? No idea what hard light is. 
Sounds like a science fiction thing. Like saying, do I think lightsabers will exist? I mean, I've watched some YouTube videos where they've made real lightsabers and it's cool. It's not really what Star Wars lightsabers are, but you know, what is that YouTube channel called? Some workshop, something workshop where they've made real lightsabers, real lightsabers. So I don't really know what hard light is. Is that like making a shield out of light or something like that? Okay. All right. Um, extra mantis. Engine trains. The problem is the human's better repairing if he's staying on the ship, so. Grima, again, avoids the venting. How do you keep doing it, this, Grima? How do you keep avoiding it? I'm gonna not cook that. Hope he doesn't bomb my cooking. Okay. Oh, that's the fire in there. Beautiful. Looks like we're good. I already use your abilities. 2v1. Good. My crew is maxed, so release everyone. Bonus reward. Best reward we could have gotten. Nice. Grima is slick. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever want to, you know, get job security, you know what you do. You you become the only person good at one thing, and Grima has learned to be the only person good at engines. That's that's how you get job security, chat. Mantis prototype B ship unlocked. All right. You become the only guy who knows how to use spreadsheets or do PowerPoint or fix the copier. You know. That's job security right there. Man, still no Zeltan Shield Bypass. Alright, so we have the long range thing or whatever, so so I can beeline it to the base. Become irreplaceable, that's right. Has person made salt bomb where slug die in one bomb. Uh, there's probably been a modded ship with a bomb that one shots crew, but I don't I don't remember off the top of my head if it was if anyone's ever done a salt bomb that only works on slugs. That's probably not been done before. Probably not been done before. So if you want to make that, you would probably be first. Finish that guy. Double reward. That's a very low reward for double reward sector eight. That was sixty-seven or seventy. Uh, you remember an anti-bio bomb of sorts? Yeah, I do remember an anti-bio bomb vaguely. This is the game where you can buy an artillery. Yes, Mr. Darth Vader, Vader, done be dead. Well, um, the voice of Darth Vader, um, what's his name? Oh, God, that's super sad if that's true. Okay, shield value. Gosh, what's his name? James Earl Jones? Oh, man. Rest in peace, James Earl Jones. Legend, man. Don't kill your friends. Kill that, though. That is super sad.
Okay, he's got a higher level clone bit, which is not great. Which also not great, he's hacked my mind control. Okay, we do get the bomb down, though. That's down. The hacking down. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. That should be good. Finish him, please. I don't want a bomb in my face. No bombs, no bombs. Okay. Well, this will get cloaking back up. And I'm going to do this. Multiverse has a, loot, has a loot weapon called the Subtractor, which is 225 crew damage bomb, but it doesn't do anything else and uses 2 ammo. He was 93, so he did pretty well for himself. Yeah, it's still sad anytime you hear about somebody who was a large part of your childhood passing away. I mean, Darth Vader is... Everybody on the planet knows that voice. Everybody on the planet knows that voice. Well, maybe not everybody on the planet, but you know what I mean. Uh, effectively five shields. Okay. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to mind control whoever goes into the heal bay is what I'm going to do here. Or just kill him when he goes in there. That works too. Very good. But 93 is a good... A good ripe old age. Still super sad, though. It's like we're not getting any repair stations unless I'm doing some jumping back, which I might do some jumping back. Um, I don't really want to sell anything. So now I just go get some extra jumps. Actually, let's let's fight him, and then we can jump to other jumps, get scrap, and then jump back. Yeah, let's do that. So, max teleporter, backup battery value. Okay, a lot of these value points are cheaper. For the first time, I'm like, oh, that's actually a really good deal for um, something that's different in vanilla. We don't have hacking, so I need to lay into his missiles. Okay, we need to board the side rooms like normal. Board the side rooms like normal. I am unsure how fully crew killing the boss in this mod is going to work. I don't remember the last time I tried to do that. The yeah, Axma Teleporter, I'm out. Okay, O2 we can do. Pretty sure level 202 will counter that. God, I hope I'm right about that. Yes, okay. They have a clone bay. Forgot about the clone bay. Forgot about the damn clone bay. Oh, I hate the clone bay in this mod. I really effing hate it. Makes the crew kill so much harder. Okay, good dodges. Bonus offensive drone. This phase also effing sucks. Fucking stupidly good dodges. Um. All right, we have the four-person board now to be able to do any jack crap versus this ridiculous boss fight. <laughs> okay. Please don't cloak. Please don't cloak. Okay, there we go. There we go. Fuck right as I was ready. Okay, uh, clone bay is burning. 
Okay, clone bay burned down. Perfect. Jesus, level three cloak too. Okay, uh, we board. Where do we board? <sighs> board and cloaking, I guess. Uh, your abilities are on cooldown, I guess. My control, so you can't repair that. Okay, that was a lot of dodges. Okay, this is online, but we have cloaking up. They are still over there. I should have boarded his he, uh, shields, I guess. Come over here and fight me, god damn it. There. Okay. You go there. You guys use your special ability. You guys use your special ability. There it is. Okay. Okay. All right. I think if I remember correctly from this mod, they even respawn crew between uh, phases, which is crazy. Okay. Um... <laughs> I need power for days, it seems like. Uh, actually, maybe not. Uh, let's go store repair, I guess. You're waiting for the worm to blow up and deal the finishing hit. <laughs> oh my gosh, a breach bomb too. That would have been nice earlier on this run. Nose ult and shield bypass still. Damn, okay. Okay, you respond one crew. So, Annie has doors. How do we do this? Board in his clone bay and run to his missiles? Um. God, these connected rooms. Okay, maybe I board in his doors so I can move around the ship quicker. Maybe that's what I do. That'll shunt those two guys out. We have offensive drones. Pain and a half. Okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna open the doors and turn on... Wait, I'm gonna mind control you is what I'm gonna do. Help me kill yourself. Help me help you kill yourself. Nice. No missiles. Drone control's down. Doors are down. Let's go work on shields. Drone fire and level 2 cloaking now. You guys go help take down shields. Good. Okay. Three damage we took so far, not too bad. Okay, good boss fight, phase two. Very good, very good. Lucky drop, what was a lucky drop? One crew will mostly just act to block auto mode from instantly starting up, huh? Okay. Well, I don't have Zolt Shield Bypass, so I won't be able to instantly board on this guy. Uh, I could go get extra scrap, maybe try to get repair, but 
In case we need to run away to safety, I'm just going to follow him. We get mind control value. We can counter the mind control and hopefully have a very smooth phase three. Let's see. I believe that was a chance for something. Uh, a solar flare boss fight or something. We don't cloak the first missile. Okay, pretty good. Double dodge will take. Okay, so how do we do this? Um, let a mind control the counter. We board. <sighs> Shields. Mind control. No, I can't mind control. Um... I use all of my ability. I'm going to use your ability first, since you do double damage there. How am I going to do this? I think I need to get drone control offline for this fight. It's such a pain to deal with with drone control. Man, it's been so long since I've done a... A pause run. It feels weird to be pausing during the boss fight. shoot drone control and I didn't. It's fine. Uh, let's go kill this. Alright, looks good. Oh, I slightly mistimed the lance beam. Poking will be up for the next phase. Uh, phase 3's anti-boarding got nerfed at some point, so it only has one AP drone. Thank God. Phase 3 was a nightmare versus two repair drones and two anti-boarding drones. I'm glad you changed that. I'm glad. Alright, let's kill him with boarding. Meh. Yeah. GG! Mantis prototype, or what was this called? The... The Gygus. Gygus. Another ship, awesome ship from the uh, awesome ship from the Insurrection Plus mod created by Slow Rider. If anybody knows who designed this exact ship model, let me know and I can credit them in the YouTube video. But uh, what's that score? Fifty four, sixty three. I'm getting slowly back into the the swing of remembering all the stuff about Insurrection and learning the new stuff in Insurrection Plus. It's a fun day of viewerships. Uh, 500 bonus bits since you survived. Thanks, Pixel Man. <laughs> Gives me a... I'll have to put you on my ship every time and try to make sure you live. But a uh, fun day of viewerships. Thanks, as always, to the amazing people who create these. Uh, Slow Rider for this one, RPG Nerdos, and Mr. Keys. I definitely got salty at your proletariat ship, but good runs. Uh, tomorrow we're going to play Hard Mode No Pause FTL, of course. Wednesday I'm going to be trying to finish up Astroneer because I really want to get started on uh, Satisfactory this week. I'm hoping to start Satisfactory on Friday, so we'll see how Astroneer goes on Wednesday. Nice play. Thanks for streaming. My pleasure, as always. I am very happy. New camera, new lighting, successful first stream. Uh, after I do my sign out, I need to fix that stealth a run that's still messing up on youtube so i'll try to get that fixed for the youtube folks later but as usual thank you for the bits the follows the subs the gifted subs lurking and hanging out creating ships being amazing keeping me company you all make this possible so i'm gonna head out and get other stuff done so until next time peace out happy gaming enjoy the sea shanty i will see you all next time later my friends <laughs>